please. Well, the budget hasn't hasn't changed a lot. It actually went down a little bit this year. So you're pretty much going to see what you've been seeing the last four, or five, or six years. I did make a little change in the um, the part-time wages. I've added a little bit of um, a few hours to our parks department because we're having to call them in or they're having to work later when the sports seasons are getting later in the season now, later in the year now and earlier in the year now. So we're having to call them in earlier or later. So I've added some hours to that. I've also added a little bit of a raise for one of them. And um, I left overtime, the telephone. I've changed a few hours just to go with what I've spent the, in the last few years. Ch kept everything the same for staff development, uniform expense, and program uh, supplies and expenses. And then um, new equipment's the same. Lifeguards, I've actually brought that down because we're not, we're not, <coughs> I thought that originally we'd be working from Memorial Day to Labor Day, but I haven't been able to find any that aren't college students that are leaving before the end, so I brought that down a bit in, in money. The parks, electricity, heating, fuel, everything's changed a little bit there, um, just to go with what we spent during the year. Gasoline, the same thing. And the last thing I did was I added some money for the holiday decorations, so in hopes of purchasing some new ones. So if they're, I don't know, 15 years old or something, and some of them are in really bad shape. So they're about $300 each. So I put in. Are you talking about the ones that are on the poles? Yeah, the, the metal ones. Flakes. Yeah. Yeah. We've tried changing out lights on them and stuff like that, but some of them are just rusted out and need to be replaced. And when I was all done making a few changes here, it's all the same stuff. Um, I came out 0.06 percent off. Questions for Diana, Mr. Pierce? Uh, yeah, it's the same old thing that I hope about. I think every year with your group, your department, I can't understand how we spend so much money on telephones. I know you don't want to hear that, but I've. Every time it reaches out and grabs me, 40% more than last year. I know. Not about that last year was outrageous when we had these phones only for emergency use. Well, we have to have phones at the Tuck Building. We have yeah. to have phones in our offices. We have to have phones at all the parking lots. We have to have phones I understand, but at all our locations. And we have to have phones on us because we're not in the office that all the time. But do you use them for emergencies or just everyday conversation? I guess well, if I'm at Chuck Field and Renee's at the office, I call him. Yeah. It may not be an emergency, but I might need him to do something. So. Yeah, okay. I mean, I just I hope about that every year, so I'll leave that alone. Yeah, just me complaining about something there. And I will move on to the other question I had. Uh, <clears throat> it's over on page 135 with the lifeguards. It's the fourth line down from the top. Mm -hmm. uh, about 889. Why is the lifeguards going down? The, well, oh, you mean as far as what I spent this year? As, I had one as far as going down from last year, you're going down 13%? In what I've put out there, you mean, mm -hmm. for this year? Because they're not working as long of a season yeah. as I originally anticipated. Have you ever trouble getting them? I know we had a problem getting them for yeah. a while. Yes. Oh, that's one of our problems. That's one of our problems. Does the state have any problems giving them? Because they're our supplier, right? No. No, not now? We advertise ourselves for lifeguards. Okay. So we just can't get them, and they don't last as long, well, uh, Yeah, and a couple of them had some issues where they didn't work all the hours they were supposed to. And then the issue is I originally budgeted for Memorial Day through Labor Day, but some of them aren't out of college in time, or they leave for college ahead of time. So I thought, it, yeah, that's probably that difficult. I originally budgeted for. I appreciate that. Thank you for your help on that one. I have one more, and I'm, I think I'll be done. Um, I was looking at the holiday direction, decorations. Are you going to buy new ones to replace those ones we've been hanging up now? I won't be able to replace all of them with the amount of money that I put in, but I will be able to replace maybe six of them. Some different new design or something? Yeah, maybe. Because uh, no offense to what we've had in the past, but the ones we've had the last two or four years, 
I can remember my wife telling me in this date way before any of us at this table in Hampton, they used to have little trees on the poles around Hampton, which was apparently very attractive. But that was a hundred years ago when the trees probably didn't die right away. But and you people didn't get excited by hanging trees on telephone poles. But anyway, now some of the ones we have now, I think, are probably ready for replacement. So I, I know. I don't like spending the money in that department, but I think they need to be replaced. That's my comment. I'm all finished. Thank, Thank you, you, gentlemen. Mr. Bean. I have no questions, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Mr. Nichols. Yeah, I have a couple. Um, I agree with you. The budget's flat, and I pretty much see what you've done. You've reduced a couple of lines, mm -hmm. the main one being the, the lifeguards, and, and you've applied. We, we already talked about Christmas dec decorations. You've applied much of that money to the um, increase of, what is it? 540 hours into the, the parks maintenance mm -hmm. and I'm just curious what, what kind of things that's pretty significant addition hours what kind of things will we be doing in the parks with those hours that we're not doing well, today? all kinds of work that doesn't get done at the end of the season in fact last year we didn't even we ran out of hours before we even had leaf pick up because of the school sports and stuff like that that go on so um, stuff that works for, for the playground gets done at the end of the season. All the stuff for the park building gets done at the end of the season, all the maintenance that goes in with that. Because during the season, during the summertime, they're busy in the outdoors collecting trash and weed whacking and stuff of that nature. So at the end of the season, that's when we do the general maintenance. And in the beginning of the season, for example, two years ago, we had that big storm and a bunch of trees came down and there was a huge cleanup in the playgrounds and that over at Eaton Park that had to be done, that was in February. So I've added some hours here because we have a ton of maintenance issues to do within the parks and within park fields specifically and, well, I shouldn't say specifically because we have a lot of issues at Hard Out Way as well over at Lou Brown Park that just clean up stuff that needs to get done or early season stuff that needs to get done before the, the um, kids and the adults come out to play in their sports. It, it, it sounds like the bottom line is it, it kind of started with how much do you feel you could afford to take out of the lifeguard thing because I, I think the lifeguard um, in relation to past actuals 11-8 in 2011 and 9200 year to date through July um, still looks like you're, you're at 22,000 as opposed to 26,000, you're kind of hoping that you're able to do better in getting lifeguards next year. Right. It, and actually, it had nothing to do with the lifeguards. When I was doing the budget, this came first. In fact, until you just said that, that didn't even, didn't even put two and two together on that. But the lifeguard thing has been an issue for me because I'm trying to figure out how much money I need to run those lifeguards for the season. And I've only been, we've only been open for three years now, so it's, a, it's still kind of a guessing game for me. So 10, 11, 12 is the three years we've had the lifeguards going again? Yes. Okay. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Parking lots? Oh, yes, parking lots. Don't forget parking lots. I do lots. have one other question, Mr. Chairman, if I may. Before we move on. myself. If I may. Um, <laughs> do you um, think the salary level for the lifeguards might be a problem? No. I think we have the same salary as the state. Okay, thank you. That's my only question. Thank you. And parking lots? 45. Oh, Parking lot has um, it's had an increase. I did um, put in for raises for all the parking lot employees. Uh, the lease stayed the same, and I think we had an issue with water, so I put in a little bit more money for water. And everything else has kind of stayed the same. That's my only differences. The parking lots this year, just for the record, we broke a record again this year on how much we've already made, and we still have 10 concerts. And so just for the public out there knows, how much do the parking lot attendants get paid? Personally, I think they're underpaid a little bit. Mm -hmm. They're like 850 an hour. 850 an hour, yeah, okay. Yeah, in fact, um, uh, email came across. They were looking for, at the end of the season, when the college students leave, um, the water slide was looking for employees to work for that those last few weekends of the summer, and they were paying nine dollars an hour. And I thought, oh. so what are you suggesting they get paid? Well, I think they should get paid nine or ten dollars an hour to do that. They have to put up with you know all kinds of stuff down there, and 
So you're they do a great job. I mean, the money has been stellar, <coughs> and they're very trustworthy. We've got a great staff that continues to come back year after year because they enjoy working here. So, okay. I'm just saying, I'm worried. You know, I was.